Right, welcome back, part 27 of Project Bandit, phase three. This is gonna be making some brackets. I'm just gonna make some brackets to mount the headlight. It's a very simple thing, but it's my favorite stuff. It's returning to fabrication. So stick around, stay tuned. Welcome back to Double Garage. <laughs> Moving right along, remember this. This was gonna go on Europe. Um, which will be the position for the thread light. So the bracketry, uh, I've done one already. Bit of angle iron, best thing in the world, angle iron, because you can weld the shit out of it and it doesn't break and it's tough as bull. And that's gonna go quite simply, I'm gonna fold that in, make a bracket that's gonna bolt to the back of that and bolt down to that. It's just gonna go 90 degrees in and down and it will be kind of movable because I'll put a swivel in the head, you'll see what I mean. Right, so put that down on one side, that's one. This has been a bit cuttage, grindage and stuff, so I've sort of kept it to a minimum. Um, that's one done. Pop it on. This is the old cross brace, if you remember, that I used for the back of the frame. When I trellised the frame, I put that in to brace it so it didn't move while I was making the trellis, and then beat it out afterwards. As you can see, the welds are pretty strong. You can weld this stuff for England, you really can, because that angle, that all that beating in there, that was a two pound hammer, trying to beat it into place, and that shows how strong it is. So this is good stuff. Popping that on there, best scribe in the world, knackered old pointy screwdriver, just mark it where you're going to cut it, cut that piece out there, and cut up there as well, and that was just some where it needs cutting. Right, got your earplugs, Pen? Mm -hmm. Got your eye this defenders? Where's my eye defenders? Here we go. Got me out and some. Got your out and some? Yep. Okay. The disc cutter it makes such a mess. Switch it off. Okay, right, it's raw material. Let's put that out of the way for a minute. Right, next thing, because what I'm going to do with these is Going to make that a box at the bottom, so that's going to fit downwards on there. That's going to be the base, so I need that effectively folded up now. So I've got to fold that little tab downwards. And the easiest way to do that is with some grips and a little bit of heat. Let's 
soft enough to move without splitting. But it's only a quarter inch thick, so it needs to be proper hot before you can bend it. Fold that down 90 degrees. Here we are. Nice. That's it. doing here where I folded that over to make effectively something I can bolt down through and then bolt in there's a little bit of a tab on there as you can see so I'm just lobbing that tab off lobbing it off mate okay here rolls mm -hmm. Now, because that will open up under its own sort of weight and vibration, I'm just going to run a bead of weld on the back and the front so it's one piece. Okay, first one. You ready, Pet? Okay, mind your eyes. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what it should look like. It's quite nice actually. It is nice welding quarter plate because it's so thick you can just pile it on there. Nice little weld that. Nice and melted. Again. Right, last one, hang mm -hmm. on. Sharp with pencil. There we go. Get an angle on that. Right. Oh. Eyes. Oh. There we go. Jobs are good. There we go. Rob. Good day, mate. Not bad, not half as good as you could do, but ain't going anywhere. It's beef, baby. Right, now I just gotta grind these back into shape. And I think they're really ready, almost. Grind it back in. What I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna finesse these at all. 
just going to whip them into shape. doesn't have to be, you can kind of see the middle just equally everywhere. Now they've got to be the same length, if they're not the same length, well there's, they're not the same length between the holes. Obviously the holes line up, so the bottoms have got to be exact, otherwise the light will be cockeyed. Right, there we are, some total of about two hours it's taken to do them. They go on your, um, on either side you've got the two holes there for the, normally for the bottom mounted headlights. They'll just go on there like that, effectively facing forward, two holes to bolt through and I'll be able to drill through there when I get the indicators through the post and they'll go in the side facing forward. So there we are. They need a little bit more work yet. Um, it's obviously, I'm on early's all this week, so it's what, eight o'clock at night now. I'm up at four o'clock in the morning to go to work, so I better get this rendered and sorted out. So that is it for now. I'm just gonna leave them, call them done, I'll tuck them on the bench and I'll tend to those a little bit later on in the next one. I've gotta make a further bracket to hold something else boring but now all the wiring's done now i've got some brackets for the headlight starting to get there okay so there we are that was number 27 then. i think so number 27 mm -hmm. getting there hopefully going to try and get this thing finished before the winter comes uh, <laughs> or before christmas one or the other take it easy right take thanks for watching see you next time